What is up guys, it's Dr. Sammy, and today I wanna to talk about the five most important criteria to consider when applying to dental school. So over the past month, dental school acceptances rolled out, and I wanna give a huge congratulations to everyone out there who got accepted into the school of their dreams. And for those of you applying, I wanna share what I believe are some of the most important criteria to consider when selecting a school. So this video is for all of you out there in the application cycle looking for a little bit of guidance. Here are the five most important criteria to consider when applying to dental school. Number one, clinical experience. This may be surprising, but every school offers a different level of patient interaction and clinical experience. Some dental schools are awesome in providing a wide variety of patients in need of dental services. This includes extractions, root canals, fillings, the list goes on and on. But some programs offer a limited amount of patients in need, which ultimately results in a fewer amount of procedures dedicated to the students. For example, if your school is located in a more affluent area, they may be less likely to attend the dental school's clinic for their dental needs. Other communities may have a greater range of patients willing to go to the dental school for treatment. So please do your research into the demand for dentistry at each school you're applying to. You also need to consider how the clinic operates. Some programs have staff dedicated to scheduling patient appointments, while other programs require their students to be in constant communication with their patients. This can have a dramatic impact on your time and is something you need to seriously consider. The last point I wanna mention is how specialty programs can influence the type of dentistry you are doing in dental school. For example, some schools with oral surgery programs have their residents complete the majority of extractions in the clinic. And this can be an awesome learning opportunity, but may take away from the scope of procedures you complete every single day. Take some time to ask these important questions to understand how the school's clinical environment will affect you. Number two, finance. Dental school is becoming exceedingly expensive and you need to be aware about the amount of debt you will incur after dental school is over. The cost of schooling can range from anywhere between $250,000 to $500,000, and this can be debilitating if you don't have a plan. Typically, private schools cost more than public schools. Also, going out of state for dental school can dramatically increase the amount of debt you take on. Now, there are a variety of programs that reduce student debt, so it's important to research the school's scholarship opportunities to see what programs they have to reduce the burden on you. For more information about tuition, I would go to each school's website and check out the IDEA Guide to Dental School. This is a resource that will help you get information fast. Number three, specializing. I definitely recommend you go to dental school with an open mind of all specialties, ranging from ortho, endo, oral surgery, and much, much more. Some dental schools include specialty programs, while others do not. And this can have a major impact on your learning experience within each particular specialty. Some schools have unique research opportunities where you will be able to learn innovative techniques in the specialist field. Building relationships within this community may help your resident application in the future. I should also mention that some schools have a higher acceptance rate into specialty programs than others. So if you're interested in specializing, make sure to understand each school's acceptance rate as it can have a major impact on you in the future. Number four, reputation. Big reputation, big reputation. Oh, you and me would be the reputation of your school can have a major impact on your career. Some schools are known to have an awesome community of highly trained faculty that will support an awesome learning environment. While other schools may have a learning environment that is toxic and make it difficult for students to grow. The best way to know more about the school's reputation is to go directly to the source, the dental student. There are so many active Instagram accounts of dental students out there willing to share their experience of dental school. I would encourage you to explore this awesome platform and follow some of these creative and innovative dental students. There is so much to learn. Reputation also plays a major role when looking for a job. For example, if an office had a bad experience from a student at your school, it may affect you as a reputable candidate. That may not be fair, but it's something that definitely has an impact. So make sure the school's reputation is something you can be proud about. Number five, social life. Dental school can be draining mentally and physically. So it's important you take time to socialize and have fun. This means finding a school with a social life that works for you whether it be close to the outdoors so you can enjoy nature or a school that has an awesome nightlife. Find a school that you can envision yourself enjoying for the next four years. All right, so this is my list of the five most important criteria to consider when applying to dental school. Of course, if there are any dental students out there or dentists out there that may wanna tweak my advice or disagree with me, uh, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I always appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my videos. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.